Have you ever wondered, is there more to life? There's got to be more to life. Well, in this video, I wanna give you a few little words of encouragement and some thoughts to think about. My name is Russ Warren, uh, and I help men in their 30s leave behind a life of average existence to begin the pursuit of their own greatness. Thanks for being here today. So, so many times we think to ourselves, there's got to be more to life than what I'm currently experiencing. Maybe you're like me and you're in your mid thirties and you're maybe going through a rough time, right? Maybe things aren't the way you thought they were gonna be when you got to this point and this age and this stage of your life. There's a couple of different situations and scenarios that, that I, I'm referring to, but you know, maybe, maybe you thought you'd be further along in your career at this point. Maybe you thought you'd be married and have kids at this point, and you don't. Maybe you thought it would be easier at this point that your, your kids would finally be grown up a little bit more and they wouldn't be so needy all the time. Maybe you thought marriage was gonna be so much better than it is right now that you, what you're going through, right? Maybe physically you thought I'm gonna be in shape for the rest of my life and now it feels like you're a has-been. Well, whatever the situation may be for you, we all have different struggles and different things that we, we go through as we age. And I don't like to use the term age, but that's true. We're, we're growing older each day, whether we like it or not, whether we're happy with, um, with our aging process or not, it's happening whether we're ready or not, right? And so why do we sometimes look around and go, there's got to be more to life than this. And the truth is, there is more to life than what most of us are going through. And the reason why is because we are looking at ourselves and wondering why are we not in a better situation, whatever that may look like for us, right? The thing is, you were made with a purpose on purpose, right? You were made on purpose with a purpose. And if you are not in line with that purpose, then your life is miserable in some way or another. And so you have to look at yourself a little bit and go, what, I, what am I doing that's not lining up with my purpose? What is my purpose? And so the way I like to teach this, the way I share it is, and this is, again, for, for men in your mid-30s, this is, this is beneficial for everybody, but men in your 30s, um, they're... Is, is what I call men of greatness, right? What is a man of greatness? And it can look like a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but the way I define it is being the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be in every area of your life. And those key areas to me are spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially. So that looks like having a spiritual foundation for me, it's built on Jesus Christ, the, the, the God of the Bible, right? In Jesus Christ, you have to have a spiritual foundation because everything else is built off of that foundation. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you don't have a foundation built on Jesus, then everything else is like this sand right here, right? It's just, you can't, it's not gonna stand. It's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna survive, right? Any little wind is gonna knock over everything that you're going that you that you're walking through right and so it starts with a spiritual foundation right without the foundation nothing else matters but once you have that foundation then you've got to be mentally tough and when i say mentally tough here's what i mean it means being disciplined right it means being willing to put yourself through hard situations most of you watching this live in the united states of america and when you live in the United States of America, our life, even, even if you feel like you are broke, compared to a lot of places in this world, you are rich. You have so much to be thankful for, and we don't go through tough situations. So, put yourself in tough situations. That is why you have to be disciplined. You have to force yourself to go through tough things to strengthen your mind. And so, um, that looks like a lot of different things, and I won't go into all that right now, but that's the second piece to being a man of greatness. Spiritual, 
foundation, being mentally tough, physically strong. That's number three, physically strong. It comes down to what you eat, when you train, how you train, if you train, you should be training. Being physically strong. And that's that's uh, exercising, that's weight training, um, that's just walking, running, whatever that may look like. It doesn't mean you have to be the most ripped dude in the world. And we're not saying go be a bodybuilder, but you need to be physically strong. And part of that is also going back to family and raising kids and having the energy to, to to do what you need to do when you need to do it. And if you don't do that, then that weighs into why you think there's gotta be more to life because you're unable or unwilling, however it may seem, to go out and play with your kids, to go out and chase them around, to go coach them in their sports in Little League, whatever it may look like. So it's spiritual foundation, mentally tough, physically strong, and then socially, having a great community, right? And, and, and social can go through a lot of different situations, but pretty much every relationship fits in there, okay? Whether that's uh, your parents, your marriage, your spouse, your kids, your coworkers, your church community, your teammates, every category of relationship fits in the social thing. And so many people feel like there's gotta be more to life, it's because they're not plugged in socially to any group they're trying to do life alone and you can't do it you can't do it you can't walk through struggles alone it'll it'll beat you up it'll tear you down and so those are just a few little reasons why you'll you'll find yourself wondering there's got to be more and it's because there is you you are neglecting one of those four categories of your life if you're questioning there's got to be more to life right there's gotta be more to life. Perhaps you're just waking up every day, going to work, going home, doing it all over again the next day. Yes, that's not fun. Yes, that's gonna create things in your head that say there's gotta be more to life than this. And the enemy wants you to think that you're stuck. The enemy wants you to think that you're, you're this is your lot in life, you're done. But no, you can reinvent yourself. No, you can take those categories that I just mentioned and you can heighten your life. You can begin to revisit, maybe at some point in your life you had a spiritual foundation. Maybe at some point in your life you were chasing after things that are of above, not things of this earth. Go back and revisit that first love. Sometimes I like to just go back and listen to those old songs that I had back when it was a CD, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all know what I'm saying, back when Napster was around, you, you, you download that uh, that LimeWire song and, and you listen to worship music, which is funny that we were like illegally downloading songs and, and uh, listening to worship, but it, it there's neither here nor there. And so sometimes I just go back and listen to those songs. I can remember like one of my first CDs being Mercy Me. I can only imagine going back and listening to those songs and just remembering what it was like when I first got saved to give my life to Jesus and, and just to be so on fire for him. Some of you need to go back and revisit that first love. Some of you need to learn discipline. And the physical stuff that we talked about, being physically strong, eating right, nutrition, that, that kind of stuff, a lot of that stems from the mental toughness side of it. You can't say no to, you're, you're weak. You can't say no to the things that are destroying your health physically because you're mentally weak. So find discipline. So. Sometimes, one, one good way to, to put it is, discipline is just learning to say no to the good so you can say yes to the best, right? So yes, ice cream and candy bars, are they, they're, they're good, right? They taste good, but they're not the best. So you gotta learn to say no to the good so you can say yes to the best. And so, some of you just need to start putting yourself in some tough situations. Go for a run when you don't feel like doing it. Uh, take a cold shower when you're used to taking comfortable warm showers, right? And so <clears throat> put yourself in some tough situations where you're going to develop mental toughness, mental strength. Go train. Get back in the gym. Maybe you haven't lifted since you were in middle school or high school. I don't know. But put yourself back in those situations. Start to build some confidence from doing those things. Confidence is going to come from 
you know, knowing that I'm right with the Lord, I'm mentally tough, physically strong, and then start surrounding yourself with good people. Stop trying to do things by yourself. Stop trying to live a life of greatness on your own terms. Go try to get around other people. Surround yourself with other people. I promise you, if you'll just get in a group and start talking to some people, say, hey man, don't you even just feel like there's got to be more to life? People are going to say, yeah, you're right. I do too. So you can begin to go on this pursuit together. It won't be easy. In fact, you need to go on this pursuit whether anybody else will or not. <clears throat> but I'm just telling you that if you're wondering, is there more to life? There is. And it's found in leaving behind a life of average existence to go on the pursuit. I'm not talking about finding greatness. I'm talking about getting on the pursuit of it. And that looks different for all of us. But hopefully something I said in this little short video has encouraged you and has made you think about your own self and what does it look like for you? What do you need to do to get in the pursuit of your own greatness? Hey, I'm in the pursuit myself. I ain't found it yet, but I am in the pursuit. And I think that's where the journey has to start. You've got to make up your mind that you're going to pursue it and then go after it. Hey, go be great. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following. Go be great. Talk to you soon.